Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com. And in this tutorial, we're going to be primarily talking about how we can use operators to work with arrays within MongoDB. We're going to be talking about using query comparison operators as well as array operators. So let's get started. I'm just going to say Mongo to bring up the Mongo shell. Use school db.students dot find dot pretty all right so now that we have our students collection printed out let's actually start solving these problems okay so problem 1a says find all the students who are in grade 8 or 9 so how will we go about doing that well I can use the in operator and this time we're going to use the in operator for a specific field so right here I could pass in this criteria that I want and I could say grade in and then I'll pass in this array since grade is a field so if I screw up you can see that grade is a field and it has a numerical value 8 through 12 I could pass in two values so I could say 8 and 9 and basically this is going to be treated as an or operator so it's going to take a look at all the students who have either a grade level of eight or nine. So if I hit enter, let's scroll up. You can see the students in grade eight, the students in grade eight, eight, eight. And you can see the students in grade nine. So that's how you would query to see if a student is within grade eight or nine. So now let's take a look at problem one B find all students who are not in grade eight or nine. And as you probably guessed it, there's probably an opposite effect. Instead of using the in operator, we could use the not in operator, pass in eight and nine as an array. And if I hit enter, let's screw up. You can see the students in grade 10, the students in grade 12, and the students in grade 10. So you pretty much get the gist of it. So we can use the in operator to see if a student's within grade eight or nine. And we could use the not in operator to see if the student is not in grade eight or nine. All right, so now let's try to do problem 2A. Find all the students taking MA 101 or CS 103. So math 101 or computer science 103. Okay, so we have a field called classes and it's an array. All right, so let's go down here. And let's get rid of all of this. I want to start a clean slate. First, we're going to have to look within our classes property. Then we're going to pass in the in operator. And remember, the in operator can be used with arrays also. And we're going to pass in an array with the values of MA101 and CS103. And if I was to hit enter, you can see that this student is taking CS103 down here. Let's go up. This student is taking CS103 here. And this student is taking Math 101 here. So that's how I would find all the students taking either Math 101 or Computer Science 103. So let's take a look at problem 2B. Find all the students not taking Math 101 or CS 103. And likewise, we could use the not in operator to specify this. Let's hit enter. And let's take a look at this student. Is this student taking Math 101? He is not. And he is not taking CS 103. And if we go here, this student is not taking 103 and he's not taking math 101. So that's how you would solve problem 2A and 2B. So let's go down here and let's take a look at problem three. All right, so problem three says, find all students taking both math 101 and CS 103. Okay, so we in the previous problem, we found out who was taking math 101 or CS 103, now we want if they're only taking both classes. So let's go down here 
And instead of using the in operator, we can use an array operator. Now this operator will only work with arrays. It will not work with fields. So we could go down here and I could type all. And all specifies that all the elements, this criteria that I'm passing in, have to be matched in order for the document to be returned. So the student must be taking Math 101 and Computer Science 103. So if I hit Enter, let's take a look at the first student. So he's taking Math 101 and he's taking Computer Science 103. Go up here, Math 101, Computer Science 103. So now let's take a look at problem four. Find all students taking three classes. Now what we can do for this problem is use an another array operator. And instead of saying all, I could specify the size. Let's get rid of this. And we're gonna specify the size of three. So you have to be taking at least three classes. And if I hit enter, you can see that this is pretty much gonna give us all the documents within our students collection. And that's because with our dummy data, all of our students are taking three classes. So if I was to change this to two, for example, hit enter, you can see that we get no resulting documents. And that's because every student by default is taking three classes. So now let's do the final question. Find all students who scored between 60 and 75. So let's pull this up. And I wanna start a clean slate. So I'm just gonna get rid of all this. And it says, find all students who score between 60 and 75. So we're gonna look at our scores, which is an array. So I'm just gonna type scores, put a colon here, and we're gonna use a new operator called elem match. And this is going to test to see if an element within the scores array matches this data. So on this, I'm gonna pass in elem match, pass an object here. Then here, I can specify that the score has to be greater than 60, and it has to be less than 75. So now if I was to hit enter, let's take a look at the results we get. So does this student have a score between 60 and 75? The answer is yes. So 66 matches that criteria, 61 matches that criteria. And let's take a look at this student. Has this student have a score between 60 and 75? Yes, 63 is between those two numbers. If we go up here, 62 matches and 65. So that's how you would find all the students who scored between 60 and 75 using the LM match array operator.